Back in 1983, Baldelea was an avid gardener and he spoke to local, local officials about the idea of having a festival to salute the fruits of his garden and all the gardens throughout northeastern Pennsylvania, especially in Pittston. The reason that we say we're the most um, quality tomato is because the soil is very acidic in this region. And because it's so rich and acidic, it produces quality tomatoes and they just taste wonderful and different from other tomatoes across the region. Val and the city officials formed a committee and they decided to have it, uh, the first tomato festival in a parking lot in downtown Pittston. And they invited local farmers to sell their tomatoes and other produce. Then they invited food vendors. And since the, those humble beginnings, they certainly have grown. And uh, in the last 12 years that I've been chair, we've grown it to include uh, many things that they've started and added to that. We have the uh, tomato festival parade. And we have the queen competition, which is a scholarship pageant. We also have the Little Miss and Little Mr. Tomato. And we've added a 5K run, which has been very successful, and we just had over 300 runners run in this race. We also have the um, Tomato Sauce Competition, which we call Sauce Wars. So there's some bragging rights for who has the best marinara sauce in the area. We have a tomato contest where gardeners are encouraged to bring their tomatoes in for competition. And there's four categories. The largest tomato, the smallest, the most unusual, and the most perfect tomato. And they certainly get a prize uh, when they win. And the judges are our local farmers. The Tomato Festival brings uh, great fun to the city of Pittston, as well as for people to come to the city and to recognize all the wonderful downtown revitalization projects we've had over the years. The projects include a beautiful riverfront park and beautifully landscaped streets. So we have a lot of collaboration with the city officials and uh, with the Tomato Festival Committee as well. So we work together to show off all that Pittston has to offer. The Tomato Festival is documented in the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. as part of the Local Legacies Project. And we were also featured in an article in the Washington Post recently, and we found that so many people read that article and came to the festival because they were so intrigued uh, by a festival that throws tomatoes and uh, judges tomatoes and we make wonderful tomato products. So we're happy to welcome people from out of town to our festival. One of the favorite parts of the committee, uh, what we do as far as the proceeds of the festival, is donate right back to this community. We get sponsors to sponsor different events, and the proceeds that we make, the profits that we make, we give right back to our community. Uh, the tomato fights, we donate to food-related charities. And any other charities that request uh, a donation, we certainly do our best to give back to the community by this wonderful festival. I know we've got a lot to offer at the festival, but I, I certainly understand that people come to enjoy the wonderful food that we have. And they say, what makes Pittston so special? I would say it's not your typical fair food. We've got homemade ravioli, we've got uh, meatballs and eggplant rollantini, we've got tripe, uh, we've got bruschetta, we've got so many different wonderful Italian delicacies, in addition to Middle Eastern and your uh, potato pancakes, of course. So we've got quite a variety of food and people certainly enjoy. The Tomato Festival would not be possible without the efforts of a talented group of dedicated volunteers. Everyone that works on the committee is a volunteer and they're very dedicated to the festival and making it a huge success. So we hope that in generations to come, people will continue to volunteer to help the festival and many people from all over the country will enjoy the Pittston Tomato Festival.